Okay, diamonds, here we are back again. My name is Usman Ali, and I'm your teacher, lecturer at Cardan University. This video, I'm uh, gonna show you how to create a service item actually. Now, you are well aware of the example actually which we are following. Uh, in our case, we are actually a computer manufacturing company and we intend to manufacture computers, okay? Now, Maybe, maybe we 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 may had a uh, strategic decision that along with manufacturing computers, we're gonna give some repair services to some of our customers also. So in that case, we are service providers also, and we are manufacturers also. To create a service account, I will click on the item button. I will click on the new option, and in the type of the item, I will click on services. Now, which type of services I gonna give actually, or I intend to give to my services, provided to my uh, customer? Okay, I wanna give them uh, repair services. Okay, now these services. Uh, for for such a services, um, what will be the unit of, unit of measurement? Now it depends on me, on my policy actually. Maybe on on item basis I give services, but I think the most appropriate uh, unit of measure uh, here would be I think time. That if let us suppose if I work on your computer for one hour in order to fix it, uh, so I will charge you this much money. So I think the appropriate unit of measure is time here. Uh, when you click on this uh, down arrow, you, you see we don't have any time option here. So I will click on the add new and time count length weight. Here we got time here. I will click on time next. Okay. And then it asks from me that so you're gonna you're gonna take standard as what? Like your unit as hour, minute, day, work day, what? In my case, I will select hour. That I will charge my customers on hourly basis actually. That would be my unit of measurement. Okay. How much money I will take actually, or I will charge uh, my customers if I work for them? Let's say if I work on their computer, I charge them $8 per hour. So if I work two hours, it's $20 bill. If I work for three hours, it's actually a $30, hour, uh, $30 bill. And whenever I receive this money, that, that's a revenue for me. So I want my QuickBook actually to transfer this $10 where actually. Now, um, it, it should be like sales hardware, sales software, sales support and maintenances if it is. Now I can select sales support and maintenance here that it was actually the revenue generated by offering repair services which is a maintenance services and I charge my customers $10 per hour if I work for their job. Now another option QuickBook or uh, you know, QuickBook gives us is that that maybe, maybe I'm not the concerned guy who actually offer these services. I have a subcontractor uh, working for me actually who offers these services. So in that case if let's suppose I don't uh, do repair and maintenance for my customers, there is another guy, another subcontractor of mine. Whenever I receive a repair service uh, from uh, one of my customer, I just take that uh, computer and I send it to this guy whose name is subcontractor. So if that's the case, then I will check in this option that this service is, is used in assemblies or is performed by a, a subcontractor or a partner. Yep, it is now. Okay, done. So if this subcontractor is providing you some services, how much this guy charge me? Me, okay, not the customer. So I would say, okay, uh, it, this guy charged me $7. So I pay $7 for this service and I charge my customer $10 for the services, which gives me a margin of 30%. That's the $3 profit here. Now when I pay the $7 actually to my uh, subcontractor, what I want QuickBook to do is, I want QuickBook to expense this thing, okay? Expense this thing. Now, it is it is the services which I am selling, and it is the cost or expense which I am incurring to sell those services. So I believe that the appropriate and the best suitable account for this would be the cost of goods sold. But if I want to go for other ones, like purchase, if you can see CGS is here, freights and shipping cost, merchant account fee, uh, purchase hardware for resale, purchase software for resale. If these are the case, I will go for that. In my case, I would love to debit or I would love QuickBook to record the $7 payment to my cost of goods sold. That's done. Then income account, I have already selected this thing. Preferred yonder, like is there any preferred subcontractor with, to whom actually 
uh, you have signed a contract and that person is supposed to give you the seven dollar per hour services if a, there is a preferred one i will select that guy now time being we have not studied the preferred vendors accounts or vendor accounts or the vendor menu which is here that is in our future lectures we're going to study that in our class so for time being we will not use this option so this is how actually to create a service item and service items are created by manufacturing concerns maybe by merchandising concerns and by service organizations that's very obvious but much in merchandising you won't see these things oftenly you will see them in manufacturing and uh, as well as in service organizations we are an ABC practice company which is uh, manufacturing computers and we have manufacturing is also we do manufacture and sell it and we provide services also so we, we study two scenarios here one if you uh, there is no subcontractor who provide you these services then what you had to do and if there is a subcontractor who provide you these services then what you had to do once it is done I will press OK and if you can see here I have one repair service item at the top of the list and if you can see the type of this item is a service item is it okay the the price of this item is ten dollar it cost me seven dollar for such a services that is uh, this is the procedure how to create actually a service item I hope you liked the video thank you very much stay safe